Big boy's Big neighborhood. Boy. David Wolf is yeah, in man. the neighborhood. Ooh. David Wolf, what does one use? Not that I'm a friend of mine just texted me. He wanted this information. <laughs> uh, what does one use that's me. like a natural Viagra? Just oh. good to keep the yang up. There's some great stuff out there. Oh, <laughs> it's man. Sure. There's some amazing Hold on. Can you on. tell Nile to come in here and write this down? Yeah. Yeah. Just, for in, ca- for just in case friend. any listeners call up to it. They was like, what did David Wolf yeah. say? All righty. Yeah. What's a good natural Viagra? Okay. So probably the best thing. I got this product that really, if you just, you got to you got to commit for about a week. Okay. Okay, it's called EstroGuard. Mm-hmm. And basically what it does is, you know, you want your testosterone up. Like right, if you're a right, man, right. you want your mm-hmm. testosterone up. But there's two ways to get your testosterone up. One is you can take herbs that build up your testosterone. A really good one, by the way, like a secret one, is called Tonkat Ali. Oh, don't, well, don't say it then. It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> Tonkat Ali. It's, it's Ali's walking stick. Crazy Ali. It's, it's a Muslim thing. <laughs> right. Right? So it's cool. It's a really powerful herb. Tonkat Ali. But see, that gets your testosterone up. But a, another way that works is you get your estrogens down. Mm-hmm. So we get all kinds of estrogens in our food from soy to bread. It's all it's in our um, food supply from pesticides because mm-hmm. they're, they're estrogen. They're mimickers of estrogen. They're fake estrogens. Yeah. So that's help. That, that's actually disabling our testosterone. Mm. So we got to get that out. So that what the way I work with it, instead of getting testosterone up and working that side, we work the other side, which is getting the estrogens estrogen down. down. And so what we're working with is we found out if you do about five capsules of EstroGuard on an empty stomach in the morning, first thing, about a week into it, guys, listen to me here. You're gonna be you're gonna be like you're 16 again. Really though. And, and and guys, you know what I mean by that. Like you keep going. Okay, acne and uh, oh oh oh, <laughs> no, yeah, like, oh okay, okay like that side like hello like, like you're 40 but you're 16. Kind oh. of thing. But you keep going. It's crazy. Like women are just like because I remember what's one time you came on? in, you had like a harem of females around you. I was like, what's <laughs> going on here? But what is, I mean, <laughs> assistants. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Assistant. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what are you guys thinking? Go ahead, baby. Clients. She been in. And Ricky's been waiting on you to yeah, get here. I, yeah, I I checked out your book, the book that you wrote about the raw food diet. Okay. And I just wanted to know if someone that the dedication that you need to put forward in this, because you always want to do it, but then you try it for a little bit and then you kind of fall back. Is there any motivation you have to give people to just keep on going with it? Well, it's you. You look better. You feel better. You're stronger. You have more endurance. You feel like you're at the top of your game. Mm-hmm. I mean, when you put all that together, it's like you can't you can't go wrong. Mm-hmm. So that's the that's the motivation, and you you'll find that out. That's why it's really good to jump into it and check out the raw mm-hmm. foods, because after a while you're like, oh man, I feel so good. I've had so many people over the years tell me that the best they ever felt in their life was when they were raw. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing, and and it's you know we live in a world that's you know it doesn't support it as much, but it's getting better. Like, there's amazing restaurants in L.A. Yeah. that serve raw food. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is the hub of raw food in the world, L.A. Unbelievable. Yes, so, you know, it starts out with maybe, you know, you go and you check out what's in an organic food store. You buy a little bit of organic food. You play around with it. You play around with juices, blend your food more, check out some of the raw food restaurants. But then where it leads you to is growing your own food. Mm, do you grow yours? I grow my own food. Man, yeah. what did you have for dinner wow. last night, David Wolf? <laughs> Or, and what, breakfast this morning. Okay, well, this is breakfast this morning was orange juice, and what I did is I took all of these things that I got, like this reishi mushroom, shaga mushroom. I took a little bit of this hishu wu, which is this this uh, <laughs> super herb stuff, Chinese medicine stuff, and I and I just basically put it in the, in there in, with the orange juice and shook it up and drank that. So I it's like that. orange juice on steroids, kind of thing. Awesome. Wow. I heard yeah, it. and that's it. And that's it. All right. And what about dinner last night? Dinner last night, I was down at this raw food restaurant called Olac down in Orange County. Mm-hmm. Amazing spot. My my fr- friend is a chef down there, Chef Ito. He made me this this raw rice dish. So he takes rice and he soaks it in acidophilus. It makes it soft, like it's been cooked, but it's raw. And then it's got broccoli in it and avocado and cilantro. Oh my! That was gosh. a good dinner. Wow. That was a great dinner. Man, raw rice. Yeah. He it makes good. it sound good. Can you yeah. eat one of those for me? <laughs> yeah, you know, we got David Wolf in the neighborhood, Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy.